And you've managed to have a free week on the training ground, hasn't happened a lot lately because of the fixture list. Has that been beneficial? Yeah, lots lots better to have them on the grass. I think once we we have you know a condensed fixture list, sometimes it affects our training level and training load, and then in turn it affects our performances on a Saturday. Uh, it's about repetition with these players, and when you get out of a cycle, sometimes you can be affected, and I don't think we played particularly well the last month but we've still got some results which is important when you don't play well uh, and we're hoping for, for much better on Saturday Yeah and uh, the Roaring Two lads had a chance to stick a hand up as it were metaphorically in training and say you know have I got a chance with uh, Fort yeah, Spain? And, and that's it. I mean, um, you know, I had, I had a meeting with the players on Monday about the last month, really, and about, in particular, the performance on Saturday. Uh, we know we can be better. We know we can improve. And you know, the amount of changes I've made, and the fact that I'm having to make four or five subs every game, certainly says and should say to the players that you know, I'm not entirely happy with the consistency of the performance level, basically on a match day or or overall. Um, so make sure you put your hands up and you're making yourself un undroppable really and I can't ignore you that this week I'll pick the team on Saturday based around what I've seen in training. Uh, we've trained really well and we're looking forward to the game. It goes out saying trying to find that winning formula. A different competition of course. So what's the sort yeah. of mindset going into the FA Cup? Look, it's just another game, another opportunity to win a football match. Um, we want to win as, as often as we can. Look, we're in a good position in the league, we're in the top six, that's where we want to be, but we want a cup run as well and, and hopefully that can start on Saturday. Um, you know, we're in a good position now to kick on, um, but we have to kick on. I and mean, as I said, we know we can be better than last month. It was a pretty average month, but it shows you how far we've come when an average month looks like, you know, I think seven games, three wins, a draw and three losses. So not the end of the world and we'll, we'll keep going. Not the most glamorous tie, perhaps, when it came out. You didn't always want to play some in the same division, but hopefully if you can get a win. It's a means to an end. It starts a run if you can get a win, doesn't it? Exactly that. Um, you know, we don't like losing games. We don't like that feeling. And to be honest, in recent times, we haven't been used to it too often. So, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the game. We think um, when we play to our best, we're a really good team. And we're just going to concentrate on ourselves and get back to the performance levels we've shown early on this season. It's been the only blip on the graph, really, the FA Cup, because it's been pretty upward, upward momentum, forward yeah. momentum, upward progress since it came at the club, but the Cup's just been elusive, hasn't it? I know it's well, that's, always an important priority, but it's... I think that's, that's followed me around, really. I think um, as a player, I never really had any Cup runs. Um, as a manager, I've certainly had no Cup runs, while in the FA Cup in particular. So something we'd like to change. Um, one of my earliest and fondest football memories was the 1987 FA Cup final for Coventry City, being a lad from Coventry and seeing the street parties and what it can do to the town and the, the fan base is amazing. So hopefully we can give our fans something to sing about. And I know the players will be desperate to win as well. And it's a, a double-edged sword. If you can win, great, you move on to the cup and momentum again. Because as yeah. I say, not been a bad run, but just about getting some consistency and back-to-back -back results. No, look, we, you know, we, we know we carry pressure, but pressure is a privilege at this football club. Um, we want to be in the top six this season, it's where we are at the moment, but we know there's improvements to come. You know, we have to remember that we're a League One football team and we are going to have ups and downs. As much as we'd all love to be consistent and be Man City, we're not yet. Um, we're working very hard to improve in every level, in every aspect of our game, and hopefully we can see the fruits of that this month. A little nod to history tomorrow. The club's got plenty of that, of course, and the players wearing the replicate from mm. 100 years ago when the team won. Unfortunately, I don't think we've got a tracksuit for you going back 100 years, but uh, nah, nah. that's a nice touch on to, the day as well. To be fair, someone like it looks like it's 100 years old. You so. may say that. I yeah, yeah. possibly comment. No. <laughs> yeah, available for um, no, well, That's an, an, a yeah. nice touch again. It is. Um, as I said, we're very respectful of the history of this football club. It's a football club with immense history. Um, as I said, it's about embracing that history and taking it on board and pay our respects tomorrow and hopefully get through, well, not get three points, but get the win to get us in the next round. Yeah, just a bit of team news finally. A, a couple of injuries, unfortunately, uh, for, for Will and Izzy, just a, a little bit of hamstring trouble. Yeah, um, Izzy was very upset last week. He felt like he'd done the same injury again. Um, fortunately for us, and when we've had it scanned, it's, it's lower down, less significant, probably three to four weeks. Um, I think we were both delighted with that news and it shows you the journey he's had when we're happy about a three to four week injury but yeah um, he'll be back sooner rather than later um, another part of his journey um, he's dealing with it really well Will 
um, in the B team game, more significant hamstring injury, at probably six, six to seven weeks. Um, maybe the amount of rain we've had and the change in surface um, from lost stock, it's gone from really firm to really heavy. And the way we train and how intense it is, it can have a, an impact on your muscles. Uh, muscles, muscles. So yeah, we'll we'll hopefully <laughs> Marcus is laughing in the background. <laughs> hopefully we'll um, we'll get Will back in one piece sooner rather than later. Yeah, just actually fresh month, fresh start. FA Cup, Papa John's Trophy, a couple of big league games. Still an awful lot to look forward to. Lots to look forward to. Um, still in the Papa John's, as I say, in the top six in, in League One, and and in the FA Cup, and and hopefully get a good performance tomorrow.